welcome to a very special edition of spiritualish.tv. I'm Jenny, I'm your host, and I really appreciate you coming on today. If you're ready to meet a psychic who is one of my spiritual mentors, I'm so excited to have her on. Her name is Amy from Soul Path Journey. Um, just press the like button right now and we'll get started, okay? Hi, Jenny. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here today. Thank you. I'm excited too. Woo! I know exactly <laughs> what I want to talk to you about too. So okay. for everyone watching, they have to go to your channel, Soul Path Journey on YouTube and see kind of the build up to the story. Because when did you start talking about love bug energy? How long ago was that? I feel like it was earlier in the year. So it might have been coming in around February or March of 2022. Okay. And when I heard about it, it was one of those things like it was being, it was created or sent to us, like something to energy to work with that was new or we didn't know about it or something. Right. So, and I was like, oh, it really turned me on because a lot of my work is based on self-love and love and love and love and love. And I was like, ah, that sounds so yummy. And I started incorporating it into my meditation. So that's why I think everybody needs to go back and watch your channel to see kind of the evolution of this thing. Do you have anything that you want to say about it <laughs> before I tell you what I just did? <laughs> so basically like with love bug energy, I was shown by spirit, the divine God, the universe, that there was this new energy that was coming in and available to us. And it was a pink love energy that we could actually work with and bring into our life to help bring in more love energy. And what they were showing me is that previously with the old, I guess, earth energy, because we're moving into new earth energy, okay. that we were in these stark contrasts of white, divine light, and the dark okay the black okay so we were in this white and black polarity energy and this new love energy that was available to us now from the divine and from spirit embodied all of the energies together and it wasn't this contrasty energy anymore where we were in war which is kind of where we've been for thousands of years so this new energy embodies all of us as almost like a oneness and it can actually um calm the dark and warm it up <laughs> it's like it's giving a hug white to the dark. that's gonna like <laughs> repel them like vampires it's, like, it's not gonna repel them or hurt them right. like the white light can it's not the polarity energy that we're uh, used to working with yeah okay interesting so what i did was in preparation for you coming on and joining me to talk about this i did i did my tarot cards to see like what i got as far as a message about it and so this is what i got so basically it's a time for new expansion expansion right? expansion new cycle of expansion and for all of us to be expanding and it's about will and determination right so it's like this is actively you to do this isn't gonna just happen to you it's for it's energy for you to use right and <laughs> the challenge is the six of cups which is like the the challenge is like this is the old the past that people might be like not knowing how to get to here because they're looking to the past for solutions like like I go to the white light, I go there. That's my old solution instead of using this new thing. I think that's the challenge is just people go to the past. And I can build on that too with the challenge. The challenge is, is that with the love bug energy, it's a give and take energy. So we have to move out of selfishness and it has to be giving, okay? So it's like, it's a return energy. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You have to so give to get back. Yeah. Like the... I saw you talking about this on you. And also guys join her Patreon <laughs> because that's where you get a lot more insider information in this. Um, <laughs> I saw you. you talking about your wheel of fortune, like the, the cycle and the, and the karmic wheel, like the car, like you give, you get what you give and you give what you get and that kind right. Okay. Yeah. So at the top, the way I read this is to say in the air, like all around, it's like, it's, it's a group, like happiness group, like, yay, we're like yeah. celebrating together, three of cups. Oh. 
Mm -hmm. um, so it's a real community effort that we can give to this energy. And also it is the magician, like the, the base is it's a magician. Actually, the base of the matter, it's so funny because I kept trying to figure this out and I kept getting the this card, the hermit, which, you know, studying it, looking at it, figuring it out kind of thing and and doing the groundwork. So that's what this whole reading is about. But then it's a, the magician is like, right, which is, again, uh, up to us. We have the power. And we're right. The magicians. We're the ones that do this. And embodying that energy as our own because we're all connected, right? We, 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 yeah. we are part of God. So we are the magician of our life. We are the creator. Yeah. Yes. So in the past, it's, it's like letting go again, letting go of the past. Like this. So this is talking about like, so now that you've let go and said, okay, I'm stepping into something new. There's the stars in the immediate future. Right. So we have a lot of hope about this and a lot of like bright prospects and, and the star energy. And so what we're coming into collectively then would be the King of Cups and the, yeah, and the um, Knight of Wands, which, I mean, so this, right? I mean, that's this like is warrior energy. Yeah, that's like- um... And that's why I was feeling so much like, because the whole thing when I'm talking about light walkers, yes. I went through this little period where I was like releasing all the work, because I'm what you really are my spiritual mentor in a lot of ways here. So like yeah. I, I said, okay, she's releasing this truth warrior thing. And the warrior energy, because I did my past life reading enough to know that at some point, and I guess we all, you know, been warriors, but like, that's kind of been something that's, I've had other people see, you know, like that one mm -hmm. girl did this reading on me. Well, not reading. It was this intuitive thing. And she goes, I see this mark. And she described exactly when I was a, a, a soldier back in Spain, back in the 1200s or something and killed a bunch of people. <laughs> it was awful. But that is a big part of me. And I always call it big sister energy. I always feel very like I want to stand up for the underdog. I always am attracted to people that want to help themselves, but kind of are like, ah, what do I do? I'm always stepping in with the warrior. So I do feel like there is some, it's not wrong to be warrior-esque. And I've been- No, and it's emerging as a new sense, I think, of what warrior is too. Because the old warrior is like, well- I don't know the more struggle energy in it, but I feel like the new warrior is a boldness and a bravery and a and a a standing like in a, truth thing, like a yeah. standing a standing in energy in a bold way, right? Yeah, not that's necessarily what it is. attacking. Right, it's proudly yeah. owning what you already have. You don't have to prove it. Yeah, mm -hmm. which what, it's a new light, warrior energy. Yes, so like light walker, I was saying was like part light worker part Jedi Knight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I have been getting Star Wars references a lot from my guide. So it definitely does embody that. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so what other people see is the high priestess. So this unknown, like wisdom, it might feel intuitively like, yeah, I get it. But it's still like, you know, there's still like the cooperate, still trying to figure it out with people, with one yeah, another. Yeah, because you have to be able to tap into that higher knowledge, right? It doesn't come to you. That's exactly it's, it's something that you have to, you know, I, I think just checking in with your spiritual self and and really seeing where you're at and, and feeling your way through this energy. Right. Right. Yeah. So so then hopes and fears. The hope is, you know, that this is all the good times flowing and everything's you know, yay. And the fear is that like, there's still something hidden that we don't know, or, or just worried or some kind of, um, de deception. Like, is this for real? Like questioning it, you know, because it is new, I think just because it's new, what do you get? Um, what is the fear? What is the fear or what's hidden? What's hidden? Or the anxiety about the, it being an illusion or Under the surface, they're saying distortion. Dist mm. Well, because this says also imagination, subconscious. So it could be you could, without knowing it, be tapping into your fears instead of your love, which is why it requires the inner work. Distortion. That would make sense with distortion, right? Or yeah. Distorting. 
what is real and what is not real. I keep keep being shown um, just our mind and how strong it is. Like it really is like what you believe you will that, see. That goes back to this. This is yeah, right. It's a, and it's yeah. something that is real. Like it is so real. <laughs> it is so real. And so the final outcome, if you use this right and all, is the Ace of Pentacles. It's a gift to us, been given to us to expand, to manifest and all. And, and it's a missed opportunity if you don't. Absolutely. Um, because you can spend your life living in disharmony and disarray and in fear so easily. So easily. So easily in this day and age with technologies um, getting, you know, Twitter sent, you know, notifications to your phone. I mean, it's just... Well, and this brings up a lot of like what, what I've been going through as a challenge is, is I won't call it struggling because that's an, it's too big of a word, but thinking about the nuances with false light, because there's a lot out there when you're looking for help to figure things out. There's a lot of what I've now, you know, and I don't know, like, I don't know if it's true. Like you have to go inward and see what's true for you. But there's something that does resonate with me that the new age stuff is false light and that it's not actually, it's a little distorted. And that has me curious if we're elevate, like maybe it was as good as it got for that energy of that time, like the seventies, the eighties, whatever. Um, and it was maybe an improvement, but like, it's not what we need now. And and it's interesting. But again, what you see is what you, or yeah. what you believe right. is what you see, right? right? Am so, I doing this to myself? That's what yeah, I'm saying. Like, because it, <laughs> is it showing up because of, because of what my you believe. fear about it? Yes. <laughs> 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 because um, I, I believe, yeah, there's a lot of people who, who could be misled, but through the law of attraction, like attracts the like. So we would only be guided for toward people who are vibrating at the same energetic frequencies as us, who are aligned to us. So those would be the readers that you're drawn to. So if you have found someone like that, um, it could just be a stumbling block to say, well, what it, what is in me that might be needing some um, cleaning up or something, you know, well, is there something in me that's confused somewhere or specifically, it's not so much about readers, but for me, it's about like, whenever I do my investigations on aliens, <laughs> mm -hmm. figuring out that piece of it has been something that I've found so fascinating and interesting. And just for you guys to know, like Amy found out for me, like I am amphibian, <laughs> which is the coolest planet ever <laughs> which is a planet of like you know just i don't know psychedelic like, slow people yeah <laughs> so i'm like of the psychedelic slow people everything it's was love, purple all love. and green it was all love everything's purple and green and it is like everything is good yeah but you're kind of sitting there like a little um i was sitting there like a how do I describe it? Like, what's the commercial with the the little the little critter, the lizard guy? What's his um... Geico? Yeah, I'm like the Geico lizard. <laughs> That's the closest looking thing to what I saw in my in my mind. I was like, it's not even quite right. But I was like, Amy, am I a reptilian? She's like, no, <laughs> no. Hold on, you're an amphibian. <laughs> I was definitely going more down the the mode of uh, Sesame Street, you know, like uh, yeah, the Muppets, like Cookie Monster or yeah. Grover, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so if you don't know your, um, you know, your tribe, you need to get a reading with Amy. She was because nobody <laughs> has ever heard of that. I mean, I've Googled it. There's no information about it, and yet it resonates so deeply. I'm like, yeah, because I know in my mind that what I saw. And when I described it to you and you asked the, the guides and I was like, okay, that makes so much sense. And it's crazy. But that, yeah. I think that brings me why I'm so resonating with this love bug, pink love energy. Yeah. That is, is part of you. Yeah. 
what that kind of is. And, you know, when you asked me one time, you were like, so when do we get to the Zen part? I'm like, no, that's not what this reality is about. That's another realm, you know, we can achieve it, but like, that's not, I don't think the point, because if you're all zen out, you're not really helping other people. You are with your vibration, I guess, but there's a difference. There's something about 3D that's very special that we're supposed to be interacting with one another. I agree. I do think that we are meshing together, like the Tibetan monk with like this warrior energy that we're moving into more of like a, an existence of excitement and happiness kind of a thing and exploding out yeah Yoda energy (laughs) because we need that fire we need that passion in there because it ignites the fire of other people and my guides keep taking me to kundalini um to kundalini energy that's what they keep taking me back to over and over again as a as a great healer and I took kundalini yoga uh many years ago in LA and I learned a lot about it and actually that information has gone out wrong too to the collective um there is a lot of misinformation and that would fall into your new age category of uh you know new age is bad and that kind of a thing there are there are these underlying themes and messages that are going out along those lines and I almost think that they're intentional in some way to kind of sabotage uh the the birthing of some beautiful stuff as well well, so specifically, just looking at the love bug energy, doing it the right way, what do you, I mean, like, cause that's why I said, do you want to come on and talk about this? Like, what do we do? What do we do? So what I'm really feeling with this energy is that it's always there and it's always accessible to us, always around us, but you're not going to be able to access, access that energy if you are not operating from almost like a Tibetan monk kind of energy inside, you know, you do have to have that kind of stillness and quiet in your life to be able to feel the energy. You have to wake up in the morning and start your day fresh. You can't start your day with news. You can't start your day with social media because what happens is you're opening yourself up at that moment to the unknown. You have no control what is going to show up in your feed. Okay. You can go onto Twitter and, and in that moment, you discover that some person that you never met before their dog died, um, that can throw a riff into your day because you all of a sudden now feel sadness. You haven't even yeah. started your day and you're already you haven't going even into had lower, your cup of coffee yet. You haven't even had your cup of coffee and you're going into lower tier emotions, right? That's yeah. the most unhealthy thing that you have to keep your vibration in the upper land of emotions. You have to go into gratitude, love, happiness, fun freedom it's to go into the complete upper range of emotion that's where you have to live in to access the love energy that's always available to you and you will not feel it in the fear um lower vibrations you won't feel that energy as much um, so let me ask you what do you do in the morning what's what's your thing so i have to be cognizant of it i am a psychic dreamer so it's really hard because my dreams are like psychedelic you know they're very like trippy i mean I have all kinds of symbolism coming in with strange people and stuff that could be connected to stuff that's really dark that's going on on the planet. So I have to um, work through my dreams when I first get up and I've been starting to just write out my frustrations of being like, I don't know what this means. I don't know why I have to have this, why these people came in, why they were all negative. Is this, you know, an energy that's coming in through my, you know, through another dimension that's kind of trying to mess with me. So I have to like kind of work through emotions first. Um, If you're, if you're operating on like a psychic level like that, and you have really bad dreams, I think that's something that intuitives have to. I did this morning. I, you know what I dreamed? Well, I sat there and I kept thinking about it and I was like, stop thinking about this because guess what? I don't know. And I don't care. Like I had to talk myself off the ledge because it was about the royals. Oh, and interesting. Fergie and Andrew specifically. And Fergie was like little. She was like 12 or younger. And I mean, I don't know anything about Fergie. I don't keep up with any of that. And the lo- only thing I knew about her is aren't they divorced like a long time now? So whatever that is, I was like, stop trying. My brain's going, well, what's, what's this mean? I see the picture in my head of, of this young childish, you know, girl, like, and I was like, that's Fergie when she was young. And I was like, this is not, it felt gross. It felt ick. 
And I was like, I don't really want to know. <laughs> yeah. Know. And it's, it's so harsh, the energy, right? Like you're like, how do I shake this? Cause your brain is still, if you're an intuitive, your brain is um, almost like has these like feelers that go out and is still seeking information about it yes. subconsciously. So it's really hard to shut the intuitive mind off. But you're saying almost, you write it down and you try to keep a track of it. I, I usually just try to get the frustrations of the dream out. Like if I'm like, why did this happen? Why do I have to have these dreams? Why, why do I have to have all this darkness come in? You know, like the frustration out of it, the emotions that I'm dealing with, because that's actually better than writing it down and remembering it kind of a thing. Right. Um, oh, I know my dreams are not usually literally about what I'm dreaming about. It's about something completely different. Like the, what happened in your last, meet up which is another reason guys you need to join her for the <laughs> patreon because on the angel level you get to go for meetups which in the meetup you had someone actually had clueless oh my god that her that was epic yeah <laughs> she she knew what she dreamed she could describe it but she had she was like i have no idea what this means and then the whole group jumped in you were tapping into guides and getting some messages and stuff. And by the end of the session, we all figured out what it meant. Yes. And it was about the Royals too. It was about the Royal family. And um, we yeah. came to the conclusion that her guides, well, she has been asking them for messages that are big. Like she wanted some big validation that she was tapping into stuff. And wow, she got it that day. She definitely got it. <laughs> oh yeah, we all got it. It was like crazy. So yeah, so there's a, so there are groups, and if you if you're listening to this and it's resonating with you, definitely I will link Amy's um, channel down below. And Thank you. Yeah, to join your stuff. But I think you were talking about like what were you saying? You wanted to start a love club or so? What was it? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I've uh, been really been shown a love project and love project. Yes. And it's going to be a project to give back to whoever, I think. And it's just to kind of pass love around. That's what I'm getting. Um, and I'm getting, you know, growing a garden and growing flowers and then cutting the flowers and then leaving them on people's doors and just saying, love the love project. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Oh, and it kind of vegetables. reminds me of the wine fairies. Have you ever heard of the wine fairies? But it does seem like that, right? It's like a fairy kind of thing, right? Yes. Wine like a mysterious, like you've yes. been visited. Wine fairies are just a group of people that somehow you get your name on the list. I've never had it happen. Someone was telling me about it. You get a name on the list and these people just pull their money and like, it's whoever lives near you will just buy wine for you, leave it at your front door. And it's like, yeah. it's like that, but with some message of love, like flowers, or it could be a card, or it could be uh, painted stones. You know how you do all your arts. It could be a, a piece of art. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. It could be like literally like crystals or anything. So that's what they're, they're showing me. Um, and they've been showing me like where to start planting and how to start doing it and, and how to, to connect it back in like showing it. Yeah. So that's yeah. kind of what I'm excited about it. I really, I really am. I love this because it really could be something that everybody, no matter where you live, can do. Can do. Yeah. Yeah. And then people could share what they're doing to inspire other people. Like, cause if I'm, cause I'm one of those people, I'll be like, I don't know. I mean, as, as creative ideas as I get, sometimes I'm like, I don't know. Just tell me what to do. I have no idea. And if you're one of those people, like, that's okay. You could like watch, see the list or posts people you could share I don't know what are you going to do are you going to put this on your Twitter like what are you thinking I'm thinking it might be going to like an Instagram possibly mm, yeah and and, we and it would be shorts like short videos possibly and people could do their own thing and then tag you yeah that'd be fantastic yeah. And I also feel like there's this experiment by spirit or a challenge to see what love can create, you know, like taking a concept because they show like my friend has a beautiful home. It's in Hollywood, but it needs some love. And I think we were thinking of doing like before and afters and showing like what love can do even with that, like just bringing in the energy of love and embodying it and everything we do. 
I love it. Turning it into something beautiful. Like so, beautiful so and- before we go, just tell us how to tap into it. Like, what are we seeing? What are we thinking? Give us some verbiage or visuals. What are we to draw this in? Because this whole thing was about doing the, the, the leg, like the groundwork for it. What's the groundwork? Like, what am I thinking of? Not just because people go, oh, love, but like, when I when I first heard it described, you described it like kind of like a funnel of this pink. It's magenta. like pink smoke energy. It looks that's like pink smoke. smoke, cotton candy energy. Like that's kind of the energy of it. <laughs> okay. So, so what's um, it can what's actually, right? in the pink love bug energy, it can, it's really strong and it can embody very dark energies, like even people on the planet. It can because embody the smoke them. part is like yeah. a gray mist. It's so hot. It's like a hot pinky pink that is powerful. It's a love energy and it can actually, it will wrap itself around a dark person on the planet and embody them in it. And it actually um, takes away their, their, their dark powers. I love that. <laughs> That's so, so, if, so if somebody's bothering you at the office so or powerful. in public, we do have to have new ways of dealing with our with our um, anger, and and that's part of this teaching. And when we get uh, fearful of people, um, we see threats on the news from different world powers or world leaders. Instead of getting upset, instead of going into panic, that's when you call in the pink love bug energy to surround the, those humans. So, what's your hashtag? <laughs> I know. <laughs> what's the hashtag for it so we can start pink love bug maybe hashtag pink love bug <laughs> i love it <laughs> i'm excited i'm excited to see what else comes from this but like that was beautiful thank you for yeah. sharing i mean this is the good this is the kind of messages that i want everybody to like hear because this is so empowering you can do this you can Figure you can do this and, and, and in the... how to spread the love and also how to love on the people from afar <laughs> that you don't need to have in your life, but you don't need to right? wish them ill. You don't need to hate on them. And you don't feel powerless in the process. Yeah. You don't feel vulnerable and you don't go into lower energies because you now are taking control Maybe of the, the situation and it's different. Yeah. It's a different energy altogether. That's really, truly the powerful message right there is that we rise in that energy i got goosebumps i'm so excited thank you so much you're welcome i know these this is fascinating energy is fascinating to me and i just i love how the divine helps us all the time and you know it's just we don't know we don't know that it's there a lot of us but that's what the intuitives um are helping with right now is helping to enlighten us in new ways so exciting all right well um i will talk to you again soon this is so exciting please guys leave your comments below or reach out to amy join her stuff and i will see you there because i'm all about it (laughs) i'm all up in her stuff (laughs) (laughs) yay all right bye guys